Once there was a man who was suffering from functional paralysis. He was confined to his bed. The author told him to make a vivid picture of himself walking around in his office, touching the desk, answering the telephone, and doing all the things he ordinarily would do if he were healed. The author explained to him that his mental visualization of perfect health would be accepted by his subconscious mind. He started visualizing walking in his office touching the desk and answering the telephone he continued his visualization discipline intensively for several weeks then one day when nobody was at home the telephone rang telephone was 12 feet away from his bed nevertheless he managed to answer it his paralysis vanished that hour on the subconscious mind responded to his mental images when he shifted his attention to his healing power within himself power flowed through his focused attention and he could walk again whatever you shall ask in prayer believing you shall receive there are also past cases where people have used their subconscious mind to heal from blindness skin disease and even cancer so what is this subconscious mind actually a mind is divided into conscious mind and subconscious mind conscious mind is the reasoning mind it is the phase of mind that chooses example you choose youtube and choose to watch this video whereas subconscious mind carries its processes without the help of your conscious control example your heart is kept functioning automatically vital functions of your digestion circulation and respiration are being carried out they are also called walking and sleeping mind voluntary and involuntary mind your subconscious mind accept whatever you consciously believe your subconscious mind is like a bed of soil that accept any kind of seed good or bad and your thoughts are the seeds negative destructive thoughts continue to work negatively in your subconscious mind sooner or later they will emerge and take their shape corresponding to their content in the beginning of the video i explained about how subconscious mind can positively affect our life but now let's see how can it also negatively affect our life once there was a man who went to India to meet a crystal gazer to read his future. She told him that he had a bad heart. She predicted that he would die at the next new moon. The man was filled with horror and fear. He called his family and told about the prediction. He also met his lawyer to make sure he was up to date. As the new moon approached, he became more and more scared. A month before this man had been happy, healthy and fine. now he is just the complete opposite on the predicted day he suffered a fatal heart attack he died not knowing he was the cause of his own death the law of your mind is this the reaction or response you get from your subconscious mind will be determined by the nature of thought or idea you hold in your conscious mind the woman who predicted his death had no more power than the stones and sticks in the field So remember you have capacity to choose choose life choose love choose health Now let's see how we can use subconscious mind to our advantage Your subconscious mind holds infinite power energy and wisdom within you If you suggest to your subconscious prior to sleep I want to get up at 6 a.m. it will awaken you at that exact time You are what you think all day long Think good and good follows think evil and evil follows never use expressions such as i can't afford it or i can't do this your subconscious mind takes you at your word instead say i can do all things through the power of my subconscious mind never say i'll fail i'm sick i'm weak your subconscious cannot take a joke it brings all these things to pass watch what you say Choose to be cooperative, joyous, friendly, lovable and the whole world will respond. This is the best way to develop a wonderful personality. Thank you for watching the video. 